This is Chrono Trigger. When I first heard about this game, I thought it was a shooter, given the trigger in the name. Well, it actually turns out to be an RPG. Totally unexpected to me, though, but either way, I found a really good leveling ground, if the level is any indication. So where am I at in the story? I just got this. I just got it. So then, you're probably wondering, now how do I got this when everyone else is otherwise generally fairly weak? Well, not too long ago, I actually had this. So how did I get that? Easy. Notice the money on the bottom? 92,000? Yeah, it's 65 million, or 65,000 for that. Well, it gives you the idea. But yeah, I'm actually gaining money so quickly in this area, and experience on top of it. Yeah, he's getting a little on the close side to leveling up. And just for a reference, yeah, I'm just trying to get all these. <laughs> this kind of thing actually reminded me of FF5 when I played that, where some of the jobs required like 300 and such for the final one ability. But either way, it really don't make much of a difference. But at the very beginning of the game, I actually got these two learned. The very first two learned. And I was level 8 before I even did any of the time traveling stuff. I even had these learned before any of that, too. Yep, this one's already learned clean. There appears to be nothing else to learn. And yeah, I've got some duels, and lots and lots of duels, and only a few triples. But I'm otherwise rarely using text. But just for reference, for the leveling ground, you might be noticing the accessory. Berserker. Hmm. Berserker. Oh, boy. Oh, that one doesn't have a Berserker. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. These three are my active ones at the moment. These are just kind of reserves, in a way. But, these two are my major physical damage dealers, and that's critical to the process. You might also be noticing the this as well. Used to be this. And you might also be noticing this too. I found that in a treasure. But otherwise, this is about the best I've been able to get at this point in the game. These are just stored junk. These sell for a lot, but that's not the one we're getting. It's this. These sell for like 2900 a piece. But that's not the main thing that I'm really going to be explaining. The key to this is the leveling ground itself. Where is it at? Reptite's Lair in 65 million BC. When I saw that, I immediately thought of the dinosaur era. This is the key area, though. The two mushrooms must be defeated first. But with Berserk, there's no guarantee on that. Yeah, that's how powerful he is. With the ape alone, have her attack. Or your third character that isn't Berserk. 345x, my goodness. Uh, wasn't this place supposed to be good for money? Hmm. Well, that's what those petal and fangs are for. I'll have to cover that in a later section. You won't be able to make use of the money part of it until you actually get Ayla. Of course, uh, went away for that one moment. And by the way, did you know I've I'm actually been able to predict the amount of damage you do 50 times in a row? Hmm, you're probably thinking, what's so special about that? Well, it's a very good sign that the random number generator in this game is horrible. I got the same thing with F52. I got the same two sets of enemies twice in a row dropping the same amount of gill and items and all that other stuff. Pretty handy, that, really. It does take several rounds for that to be noticed. 
I love those criticals when they happen. But when you get a lone one like that, do not attack with her. Unless one of the berserkers go, of course. Because otherwise, it'll run away unless you can actually defeat it in one hit. If you want, you can bring in a third physical damage dealer. But just repeatedly go in and out like this and you'll have eggs like crazy real fast. And indirectly money. I've actually worked it out to about 800, almost 900. Shouldn't have done that. 21. Yep, I'm back to that same setup I had before. Four rounds and you get exactly the same numbers. Just wait on this. That's all I do. Let the Berserkers do it. Why don't you want to have her attack? Well, as soon as they take damage, they'll actually start running away. And you lose exp and tech points. Now, if you watch carefully, it's actually four cycles before the whole thing repeats all over again. Level ups, all that'll do is just raise the amount of damage you do slightly. Eight hundred. Lone ape attack. Eighty-seven. Yep. Hmm. Next one, she should be doing eighty-one with the ape alone. By the way, this is the PlayStation 1 version, so yeah, it's got really long load times. See? Ape alone, 81 damage. Bullseye! See how I can predict that? I tried doing that 50 times in a row. All the damage numbers are exactly the same. Unless a level up occurs. It's a really good indication that this game is a really bad random number generator. And he goes berserk over the ape. And she gets a critical. Normally you shouldn't do that, but since the pattern repeats again and again, well, you should be very familiar with it. If Frog goes berserk on the ape, that is, doing the critical, well, that's when you know Marl's going to end up getting the critical as well on the mushroom, which will, in this case, one-hit it. And then Quan will get the ape. It'll counter by throwing a mushroom at him for 21 damage. And by the way, this is a live recording. I'm recording this as I'm playing the vocal part of it. And I just wait. Because there's no guarantee on a critical in this case. <laughs> well, now he'll be doing just a little bit more damage. Eight or so, I think. I don't know. Eight with a critical. And Chrono, I think, goes berserk on the bottom left mushroom. Critical, that is. Yep. <laughs> Starting to see any consistencies here? Eighty-seven. Yep, we're both 39, except Frog, which is a little behind. Mushroom on the right. 
Okay. Another mushroom. 81 damage. Maybe 82, I forgot about the level up cuts in effect too. Such a pretty handy leveling ground, ain't it? So then, what's with all the feather, or uh, not feathers, uh, petals and fangs? Well, shouldn't have done that. Wait, well, basically what you're supposed to do with all the petals and fangs that you get or you know where that chief is, right? Where you exchange all those items over? Just keep requesting, uh, first go with petal and feather as much as you can so you get those stone arms. Those sell for like thirty-seven fifty a piece. If you want after this, go after some feathers. I'm not sure where a good spot is for that right, right now. And then once you're done, get rid of all the petals and uh, fangs for the that uh, one ruby gun. That's what it was. I'm trying to remember the name of it. And from there, it's just a matter of well, selling all that stuff you get. Thirty-seven fifty for the ruby gun and twenty-nine hundred for the the other thing. I just go until I get about like 90 or so of the petals or horn, or not horns, fangs. I get mixed up a lot of that. 